As you know, I am a medical doctor. And one of the things I think is very interesting is how over the last decade, medical science has found out a lot of what the Bible has told us is healthy. Now, scientists and psychologists and other religions are latching onto this, but for thousands of years, we've had advice on how to live a happy life. One of those things is to be thankful. And at this time of year, when the leaves are out, we celebrate Thanksgiving, but being thankful is to be a part of the everyday life of Christians. The Bible tells us how important it is to give thanks. In America, at the end of the harvest season, we have a special holiday called Thanksgiving. And pumpkins and turkeys remind us of that every year. In the early days of America, when our settlers came here, they weren't even sure if they would survive. They got here just before winter, supplies were very low, about half of their people died. And when finally they made it through the bleak times and had a good harvest, they wanted to give thanks to God. So in a year when they didn't even celebrate Christmas, they had a big party, which they called Thanksgiving. The settlers invited the Native Americans and they got together for three days of feasting and games and had a wonderful time. Every year, we now celebrate Thanksgiving and our presidents have made wonderful statements of faith that we as a nation need to stop and give thanks to God. And when I see the beautiful colors and feel the fall breeze, it reminds me of that. But giving thanks is not just for Thanksgiving. Being thankful is to be a part of our everyday life as Christians. Even in the darkest times, I've found there is something to be thankful for. And that little attitude of thanksgiving is what gets us out of the doldrums and depression. For example, there are many days I feel like I can't be thankful for the big things in my life. I'm having problems at work, problems with the family, problems with the ministry. And everywhere I look, I feel like it's hard. So what I do, folks, is start looking down at the really small things. For example, here in the orchard, I can look at those little yellow leaves. I can look at something small in nature. And from that, I get encouragement. I can see, wow, look, God is doing something great with something even very small. And maybe he can work out my problems too. There was an American president who used to go up at night and look at the stars in the sky, and that made him think, wow, if God can take care of all those beautiful stars, he can take care of my problems in running this nation. Another thing we can be thankful for that's small is maybe something we like to eat or something a friend says to us or some little thing that we're doing that day that we enjoy. So look for the small things in life to be thankful for. And of course, always look at the really big picture. And the really big picture is that your life has a purpose and that if you know and trust the Lord, when you die, you will be with him forever. And you have security in the long picture of eternity, even if it seems like everything in every aspect of your life is going wrong. So being thankful can help us be happy and enjoy life, as well as it does recognize the good things that God is doing.